fruit. <laughs> okay, so due to COVID, many people had to start um, taking on new hobbies um, because of quarantine, since we all had to be home. Um, the one hobby that I take, keep going. <laughs> Start over, start over. So due to COVID, many people had to take on different types of hobbies. Um, the hobby that I decided to pick was skating. I decided to pick skating because it seemed really interesting and my brothers and cousins always are skating and it just seemed kind of cool to take something with on. Um, there are many different types of... Start over. Four chips, four chips, four chips. Due to COVID, there are <laughs> Due to COVID, many people started taking on new hobbies to try because of quarantine. I decided to take on skating. I decided to take on skating because my brothers and cousins all skate all the time. So it just seemed like something cool to start to learn. Um, I began with a traditional popsicle board, which is technically called a carving board. Um, I started with this one because um, because I wanted to learn to street skate and skate more park. So that was that type of board is designed for that type of skating. There are many different types of boards, which would be cruisers or carving boards, as I had. The different types of cruisers would be penny boards, nickel boards, and long boards. Those ones are better for cruising and just riding around if you just want to skate to have fun. Carving boards are typically for if you want to do tricks or just um, ride faster than cruisers. Um, as there are different types of boards, there are different types of parts, starting with the trucks. The trucks are the part that connect the board to basically everything else. Um, the types of trucks that I ride are thunder trucks. I like those ones because they're the most sturdy metal, they're lightweight, and they had the right size for my board um, when I was shopping for them. You typically want metal trucks because if you buy plastic, then the plastic will break whenever you're doing any types of tricks, or if you hit a bad crack, they can crack. Um, you want the right size trucks for your board because if you ride your truck's too small, your board can break in half or um, it just won't be the right, it'll just shake too much whenever you're riding, so you'll be really uncomfortable. And the most important thing is you wanna be comfortable whenever you're riding. Um, next would be your wheels. You have different size wheels for different um, types of boards. So typically cruisers have bigger wheels and softer wheels because um, softer wheels, you you tend to go um, faster because um, they absorb more of what you're hitting on the sidewalk. And then um, smaller wheels are better for are better for skating tricks because um, they don't they're not as heavy and they don't get in your way. And whenever you're trying to stop, you really most people try to do a trick called power sliding, and bigger wheels you'll just get stuck. And and then next would be your bearings. Your bearings are what go inside of your wheels um, to make them actually spin. And then um, Roger Skate um, says that the Red's bearings wheels um, are the most reliable wheel, re most reliable bearings for your wheels because um, they just they stay together longer and they keep your wheels spinning faster for amount of time and most people customize them so they take off the little red parts that make them the reds um, to go faster and sometimes um, that's more pro skaters next would be your bolts your hardware and you want um, you want the right size um, nails or screws for your skateboard because if you get them too long then um, it'll mess with your trucks and you'll scrape them up and then you have to buy new ones sooner um, most skaters um, decide to put color screws in the front or in the back just so that they are able to tell a little bit easier which way their board, which side is the front of their board. 
Next would be your grip tape. Grip tape is what is on the top of your, of your skateboard. Um, most people tend to ride mob grip because um, the adhesive really sticks to the board and it's not gonna lift or um, come off on the edges. Um, you, want your, you want your grip to be um, really rough, basically like sandpaper, um, because whenever you're doing your tricks, you want your, when you're sliding your foot or um, kicking your foot, you want the, your board to stick to your shoe, basically, so it's going with you whenever you're doing um, your tricks. Just as there's different types of board and parts, there are many different pro skaters. So the first types of skaters would be street skaters. Um, pro, being a pro street skater is that you're sponsored by a skate brand, which the biggest ones are Baker, Thrasher, and CCS. Um, Cater, as pictured, was um, Cater, as pictured, is sponsored by Baker. Um, he was one of the youngest um, skaters sponsored from Baker because. Um, Normally they go for more older people since they typically have more experience. But um, they found a liking to cater. Next would be Aaron Cairo. He is more um, an instructor for um, braille skating. He does a lot of tutorials for beginners to pro skaters um, so that you can learn how to do tricks, how to cruise, basically anything on the skateboard. Um, so other than Pro street skaters, you have your pro Olympic skaters, which they typically um, just skate in the like in like parks or in the bowls. Um, Olympic skaters, Olympic skating just entered the Olympics. Um, it was supposed to be in 2020, but because of COVID, it got pushed to um, 2021, and. Um, the men and women compete together in the skate competitions, which would be the park or the street competitions. There are 20 skaters that qualify for the prelims, um, which they qualify by skating in the world skate competition. And then once they skate the first round, the next eight qualify to continue on. There is no age requirements for skaters to enter the world skate competition. So after hearing my presentation and learning about skating, hopefully it has made you interested in learning more and trying it out to be a part of the skating community.